Okay, here's the drill. It's a shooting drill. You three are shooting together, all right? You're going to catch and shoot manual as, as, as uh, Miguel shoots, right? You're passing to Hector, okay? So let's pretend you shoot this at my hands. Shoot it. You're passing. Now you go out on the perimeter. You're following your shot, Miguel. Follow your shot. You're shooting, Hector. Just don't shoot it yet. And you're getting ready to shoot, and now you're passing, okay, to Manuel. Okay? You've already shot, probably. Now, as soon as you pass, run out on the perimeter. And now you're getting your rebound. So you follow your shot. You pass to the next man on the perimeter. Okay? Yeah, you follow your shot, pass to the next man on the perimeter. After you pass to the next man on the perimeter, you go on the perimeter. You shoot. Okay, follow your shot. You would have shot. Did you understand that? Let's see. So you start on the here. You're going to pass to him. Let's see what this looks like. All right, just keep it going. Ready? Go. Go. Good. Get out on the perimeter. Good. Follow your shot. Good. Now get out on the perimeter. Follow your shot. Good. Out on the perimeter. Follow your shot. Good. Out on the perimeter. Good. Good. Follow your shot. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Look at pick up the loose ball. Good. All right, hold it. Good job. Give those guys a hand. Good job. All right, now, I always feel bad because when we go to clinics, I know coaches love drills. We don't do a lot of drills. Like, our drills are boring. If you come to our practices over years, we try to mix it up a little bit for our players. But what's more important to us than the drill is the emphasis of shooting, footwork, passing, dribbling. So what I want to see in that drill is, and this is just how they did it. We had the top 20 college players in the country this summer, and we did this drill. And you know, guys are shooting the ball. We saw right here, loose ball, they're going like this, passing. And you know, I, I got enough. I got to get these guys to run Argentina's offense and Greece's defense. I'm, I'm not going to get on their back about. I didn't have the time. But in, in our practices, what we want to see in that drill is the, co the commitment to detail. And here's the little things. We get a rebound. Every time we get a rebound, we want to chin the ball. Every time. When we play in a game. So that we got to do it now. If I'm, yelling to a guy, if I'm yelling to a guy in the game, chin the ball, I didn't do my job in practice. That's got to be his habit. So here is where I got to yell at him. Every time he gets a rebound, we got to chin the ball. In college, we used to do this. We're not allowed to do that in college anymore. We have to have our elbows down. So we get the ball under our chin. Every time we make a pass, we want to pivot and step to make our pass. So every time, if, this is, we, we don't do, this is something we are pretty good at. So we get that now. I'm going to make a pass to Miguel. I want to pivot and step to make my pass. But we also want to have good spacing. So we tell our guys, if, we, if you're spacing out on the perimeter and he's this close, space away from him. Great. And that's where we work on timing. So in our offense, we always tell our guys timing and spacing. Timing and spacing. That was from the great Chuck Daly. 